everyone, it's Katie from Paradise Falls Family. In this video we'll be talking you through our trip to Levy in Finnish Lapland in December 2021. It was truly one of the best holidays we've ever done and one we'll always remember. It took a lot of planning to make the most of our time so we'll talk you through what we did day by day and then we'll go through some of the more practical bits and what went into our planning. This was the one holiday where we felt really overwhelmed with the planning and booking stages. There are so many different options around places to book, we had no idea where to start. I think we really felt the pressure as we knew this would more than likely be a once in a lifetime trip, not something we would be repeating. We booked our trip as a package through TUI, flying out of Manchester Airport on the 15th of December to Levy in Finland for four nights, flying back on the 19th. We stayed at the Crazy Reindeer Hotel and our package was half bored and included a range of taster sessions, a trip to Santa Village and a gala meal on the final night. Our trip started early on the morning of the 15th of December as our flight time was 7.20am. Although it wasn't ideal flying so early, it ensured we made the most of our first day and I have to say it was probably the most fun flight we've ever had. Everybody was wearing Christmas jumpers, the kids were given special Christmas activity packs, there was a drawing competition and the plane even dipped slightly as Santa flew by and landed on the plane to give his reindeer a rest which was really fun. Sitting uh, safely because uh, Father Christmas Santa Claus is going to come and fly past the aircraft now so if you look out the uh, left window you might see him you might not if you don't just imagine you did and he's going to come past here he comes and he's coming round to the other side now of the aircraft and he's just called us on the snow phone he's going to land on top of the aircraft and uh, he's got all 12 reindeer having a little rest and off they go they've gone the fun continued at the airport as the elves and TUI reps were there to greet us and make sure we boarded the correct coach. A very, very special song all about Santa Claus. Does anybody know what it's called? Yeah. It starts with Santa Claus is... Coming to town! Santa Claus is coming to town, that is exactly right. Right, are we all ready to sing? Okay, well about five of you are ready and then a couple more of you ready. I said, are we all ready to sing? Yeah! We had a short journey and stopped at Lapland Safaris to pick up our cold weather clothing that came included in the package. This didn't take long and we picked up our snowsuits, socks and snow boots and then the coach carried on and dropped us at the hotel. This is the view from our room which led out onto a shared balcony. We loved the hotel. The room was nice with a double bed and two single beds for the kids. We had a short welcome meeting which included our final itinerary and then got kitted up in our snow gear and went out for a walk in town. The snow was piled high at the side of the road. We stopped by a supermarket for some snacks and to try and find some sledges. We eventually found some a bit further in town at the levy market for 10 euros each. We had a walk around town and the kids loved being pulled behind in the snow. After a long day we headed back to the hotel for our tea and a good night's sleep. The next day was our first full day and we began with our taster sessions. It was a fairly early start. I think we had to be at the coach put on by Tui at around 8am. It was only a short drive out into the countryside though where the sessions were located. We were split into four groups for the activities and rotated around four different areas. The first for us was the Huskies. We weren't planning to do a separate excursion with these so this was one of the main activities we wanted to experience from the taster sessions just to give it a try. As you can see, we only got a very short ride, once around a small field which took less than a minute, but we still had a great time. For us this was enough, but to get the proper experience we suggest booking a separate excursion. Next up we had what was called an Arctic Circle Ceremony. Tui advertised this as a big ceremony. We expected something about crossing an official line into the Arctic Circle and it sounded really intriguing. In actual fact, it was a talk from a local around a campfire who explained the seasons in Lapland and what it's like to live here. It focused a lot on the weather, the daytime hours and the locals' homes and pastimes. Not really what we were expecting, but it was really interesting and it actually gave us the chance to warm up a little bit as we were all given hot berry juice. Our third taster session was the snowmobiling experience. We weren't actually riding snowmobiles in this case, we were being pulled on a sledge behind one, so not quite what we were expecting. This lasted a bit longer than the Huskies, around 5 minutes, and it was definitely our favourite experience of the morning. It was fantastic being pulled along at speed through the amazing scenery. We knew we'd made the right decision to book snowmobiling as one of our own activities. We arranged this ourselves and we will talk more about this later in the vlog. <laughs> Can we do it again? Yeah. Are we going on a snowmobile tomorrow? Uh, yeah! Yeah! 
<laughs> the last activity of the morning was sledging. There was only a small slope, but the kids had loads of fun while we waited for the coach to take us back to the hotel. Back at the hotel, we grabbed some lunch next door at the Ravintola restaurant and had a rest before our afternoon at the Snow Village. The Snow Village was one of the main things we wanted to see on our trip, but unfortunately all of the excursions out there were very expensive or only ran at certain days and times. We emailed the Levy Tourist Board and they were really helpful, really responsive and booked us a taxi to take us there and back. Links for their website and the taxi firm are in the description below. The taxi was €115 Euros each way, which isn't cheap, but it was much better than an excursion, which would have been more than double this. The village is around 45 minutes from Levy, and it was really nice to get out and see a bit more of the area. We gave ourselves about 90 minutes at the village to have a look around and get back at a decent time for the kids. We all loved exploring what is just an incredible structure. I think they have a different theme each year and it was great exploring all of the different ice sculptures and designs. There's also an ice bar where we stopped for a quick drink on our way around the village. However, Eva and Finley's favourite part by far, and ours too, was the ice slide. Because we'd come independently before all the coach tours, we pretty much had this to ourselves and we were able to go round and round and round. 90 minutes was pretty perfect for us and gave us enough time to warm up in the cafe with a hot drink and a snack before our taxi back to Levy. We loved our trip out to the snow village and it's something we'd really recommend if you have time to do when you're out here. It's also a real hotel where you can stay the night. It would definitely be an experience you won't forget actually sleeping here. Back at the hotel we met our friends who were joining us and had arrived earlier that day. We had some tea at the hotel and then we went out into Levy on the sledges. Levy is actually a big ski resort and at the bottom of the main slope there's a children's activity area including an area for sledging. However in the evening the main ski slope closes and you can actually take your sledges onto here. This is only a 10 minute walk from the hotel. We spent hours here sledging down the slope having an amazing time and we all had an absolute blast. The lights turn off to indicate the end of the skiing day so you might want to bring torches or hats with lights on to help you see. We also caught a very brief glimpse of the northern light which capped off an absolutely magical day. We began our third day of the trip with breakfast in the hotel. We got all of our cold weather gear on and headed back to the ski slope to take the cable car to the top of the slope to explore. Tickets for the cable car can be bought at the ticket office at the bottom and cost just a couple of euros per person. At the top there's a hotel, a museum and a cafe and we had fun exploring and playing in the snow. As you can see from the photos, the views were just breathtaking and the light as the sun rises made it look absolutely magical. We also found a lovely little place to warm up, a small hut where you can get warm by the fire and have sausages and a hot drink. To find it, when you get off the cable car, keep to the right and follow the trail around the back of the buildings to the right. Keep following that trail and you'll reach the hut after a few minutes. We'd highly recommend this, it's like walking through Narnia with spectacular views of the area below. Be warned though, it only fits around 8 people and there are often queues. We got to the hut before it had opened and there was already a queue forming so we didn't do much more than stick our heads in before heading back out to play in the snow. After a quick lunch in the cafe, we went back down on the cable car and headed to our meeting point for our pre-booked excursion. We'd booked a snowmobile and reindeer farm trip through the Levy Tourist website. We were picked up in a small bus and taken to the snowmobile centre where they showed us the ropes and kitted us out with things like helmets. We had two adults per snowmobile and the children were pulled behind the guide in a sled. The kids really loved this and were kept warm under loads of blankets. We went on this trip with friends so there were four children all snuggled together. They loved being able to do this without the adults in their sleigh. The snowmobiling was absolutely fantastic and it was a real highlight of our trip. It felt great to be out in the countryside doing something completely different driving in this beautiful scenery. As you can see from the clips, we got to do this in the daytime hours and after the sun had set. There were only really a few hours of daylight each day at this time of year. This didn't bother us at all, it added to how magical Lapland felt. There were loads of separate tracks all around Levy for snowmobiling so we stuck to these, driving through forests, across fields, frozen lakes and over bridges as we made our way to the reindeer farm. At 
the farm itself we were introduced to the animals and then given a sleigh ride by the reindeer lasting around 15 minutes. It wasn't long but it gave us a chance to relax, enjoy the scenery and get up close to these beautiful animals. I'm not sure there is anywhere else you will be able to get a selfie with a reindeer so up close and personal. Afterwards we were able to say hello to one of the reindeer which the kids loved. Then we went inside to warm up with a hot drink and had some delicious donuts. The journey back on the snowmobiles took around 45 minutes to an hour and again was just fantastic. This time we were driving completely in the dark. All of us adults and kids alike loved this excursion and we couldn't recommend it enough. The snowmobiling was definitely something we'd love to do again and it was lovely to see the reindeer up close, something that we'd really wanted to do as part of this trip. We were dropped back at our hotel which was really handy and then we were able to get some tea, warm up before we spent the evening back out on the slopes for more sledging. On our fourth and final full day was our trip to Santa's village. Again we had to be at the coach early for our allotted time. It was then a bit of a drive out to the village where we had the morning to explore. The village was absolutely brilliant and we had a great morning. There is so much to do here and it's tricky to fit it all in. We started with some sledging in rubber rings which was great fun to start off the morning. Then we walked further into the village stopping to see the reindeer on the way. You can also feed them for an extra charge. We got to bake our own gingerbread cookies with Mrs Claus and make a Christmas decoration with the elves. We saw Santa's sleigh stored ready for Christmas. The highlight of course was seeing Santa himself. You're given an allotted group and a time to return to manage the queue but you still do have to be careful as a long queue can still form. I'd recommend going as soon as it's your time slot. We left it 10 minutes or so and regretted it so stood in a queue for around half an hour. However the elves kept the children entertained and played Christmas music so it didn't take away from the morning at all. The kids were so excited to meet Santa and he was wonderful chatting to them and gave them a small present to take away. We finished our morning in the shop and restaurant to get a quick lunch which was included in our trip before the coach came back to take us to the hotel. The visit to the village to see Santa was a really important factor when deciding on where in Finland we would go and we didn't regret our decision. We would highly recommend coming to Levy and to the Santa village and thoroughly enjoyed our time here. Back in Levy we spent the afternoon back at the ski slope, this time spending some time in the kids adventure park. We warmed up by the fire roasting marshmallows and singing Christmas songs. Then the kids had a blast back on their slope sledging the afternoon away. We headed back to the hotel a bit earlier today as it was our gala dinner night. It actually clashed with the kids entertainment and disco so we decided to get an earlier tea, skip the gala dinner and enjoy the entertainment. There were family game shows, a disco and then a pantomime that the kids absolutely loved. Then everyone put on their cold weather gear and went outside for the fireworks. It was a great last night on what had been an absolutely wonderful trip. The next morning there was just time to pack up and we got the coach back to the airport for our trip home. This was undoubtedly one of the best trips we've ever done and something we'd love to do again. We imagined going into this trip it would be a once and done but this definitely wasn't the case. We all absolutely loved it. Perhaps when the kids are a little bit older and we can do a little bit more of the adventurous excursions and activities. 
Now we've been through what we did each day, we'll take you through some of the more practical bits and show you what went into our planning. First off, why levy? We spent a lot of time deciding where exactly to go in Lapland and there were various different places and areas that you can choose. However, the two it came down to for us were Levy and Rovaniemi. Rovaniemi is a city in the heart of Lapland and has the Santa Claus village there. However, we decided to go to Levy for the following reasons. First off, we wanted somewhere further north where we had a better chance of snow. There had been times where snowfall had been later or less than expected, so we really wanted to maximise our chances here. Number two, we just didn't fancy being in a city. It was not what we'd envisaged for our trip to Lapland. Number three, the Santa visits on offer. Rovaniemi has a Santa Claus village, but reviews did make this sound a little commercial, busy and frantic. The village in Levy ultimately was perfect for us. It had all the activities we wanted, it was peaceful and out in the countryside, and it had lots of snow. So why did we pick to stay at the Crazy Reindeer Hotel in Levy, or Huluporo as it's known in Finland? For various reasons, including a broken leg and Covid, this was our third attempt at this holiday, and we previously booked one of those stays at the Crazy Reindeer, and another of those stays at the Hotel Sukuntati. As you can tell, this vlog is really testing my pronunciation skills. We'd settled on the Crazy Reindeer as we'd read some decent reviews and it was a reasonable price. It's also one of the biggest hotels in Levy and having stayed there it's somewhere we'd highly recommend. It's on the edge of town but Levy is so small we easily walked all over and it took just 5 or 10 minutes to get into town or to the ski slopes. The rooms are a very good size with plenty of room here for families and have good facilities. If we were returning to Levy we'd definitely look to stay here again. Another thing we put a lot of consideration into was the dates we travelled. We flew out to Levy on the 15th of December and returned on the 19th. So why those dates? We'd already decided we didn't want to travel over Christmas and we wanted to be back in plenty of time to allow for delays and to get ourselves sorted and ready for Christmas Day. However, we also wanted to travel as late as possible to maximise our chance of lots of snow. We ultimately landed on these dates. It's worth keeping in mind that generally the closer to Christmas you get, the more expensive it gets. And if you're travelling on a package, your dates may be restricted, as Tui, for example, only flies on certain days of the weeks. We decided on four nights because we drew up an itinerary of the activities we wanted and decided this would give us the most time to do everything. However, there's a good range of options available, starting at day trips, which we've also heard are a fantastic way to do this on a slightly smaller budget. So why did we decide to book with Tui? Normally, we like to travel independently and book everything ourselves separately. However, we were conscious that we hadn't done a cold weather holiday like this before, we didn't have all the clothing and we didn't know much about the area. Therefore, we chose to book through a tour operator. We landed on Tui as they had a wide range of options at a reasonable price, at least compared to some of the other tour operators. The dates they flew were also a major factor here as they fit in with the dates we wanted to travel. Would we recommend Tui? Yes and no. We had a fantastic time, but I'm not sure that was due to Tui necessarily. The flight, coach journeys and evening entertainment were all enjoyable. However, in terms of support while we were in Levy, or adding to that experience, I'd say their help was very limited. You get the taster sessions, Santa Village and gala dinner included. However, Tui don't provide you with an itinerary until the week before you travel, which makes it really difficult to plan any other activities. In fact, they can also change it when you do arrive, which is what happened to our friends who ended up having to miss their taster sessions because Tui had changed their itinerary on arrival and it clashed with our pre-booked plans. For this reason, if we were to go again, now knowing the area, we'd book independently and hire our own cold weather clothing, just to give us the flexibility and ability to freely make our own plans. We also found that booking excursions independently rather than through TUI was far cheaper, with far more choice and more availability. What did it cost? This is a difficult one because we booked several years before and our trip kept rolling over and being rebooked. We paid around 3500 for our package with TUI. It covered flights, accommodation, half-board meals, the taster sessions and a visit to the Santa Village. We've seen that prices have increased quite a lot post-pandemic, so the same package may now cost a lot more. In terms of extra costs, we only had to buy lunch twice, as lunch was included at the Santa Village, and we found this to be fairly reasonably priced. We bought a few small souvenirs, a couple of snacks here and there, and also sledges that were around €10 Euros each. The cable car to the top of the mountain was only a few euros per person and was well worth the trip. The trip to the snow village cost 115 euros each way for a taxi, which was really expensive but it was cheaper than the excursions on offer there. Entry cost roughly in the region of £50 for a family of four. We then bought a few drinks and snacks while we were here. Our snowmobiling trip was booked through the Levy Tourist Board website with Wild Nordic. The link's in the description below. It cost just over 500 euros for a family of four. 
Again, this is expensive, but cheaper than a lot of the other excursions on offer from TUI. Overall, it was a really expensive trip, but it was well worth it in our opinion. Now let's talk about the food. As I've mentioned, our package was half board, so we got breakfast and tea included at the hotel. This was available each day for a number of hours and was buffet style. There was always good variety and quality with plenty on offer. There was a good mix of more local style food as well as standard food that the kids would be more likely to eat. We also found they catered quite well for allergies, which was useful. I'm vegetarian and Greg has to eat gluten free as he has celiac, so it's always something we have to consider. Having all this available was great as it meant one less thing to think about and we could concentrate on enjoying our day. However, it did mean we weren't able to necessarily try more local food, which we probably would have enjoyed. We did buy lunch on two of the days. The first was at the restaurant next door to the hotel, and the second was at a cafe at the top of the mountain. Both were reasonably priced and were good quality, but it was more a case of us grabbing a meal on the go, rather than setting out to enjoy a proper meal. The Northern Lights. This was a big one on our list for this trip. We were desperate to see the Northern Lights and it proved much more difficult than we expected. The second evening we did get a shot of them in the sky but they were only very faint. We found that when we were there the temperature wasn't quite as low due to cloud cover as it had been previously. It was around minus 10 degrees when we were there and we were expecting much lower. This made it really hard to see them. On the final night the clouds cleared and the temperature dropped but the lights weren't visible until gone midnight by which time we were all in bed. There is definitely no guarantee you'll see them when you're there. We downloaded an app called My Aurora Forecast to help judge the probability and the best time of seeing them. We would also recommend booking an excursion out of town to get away from the lights and this is something we'd definitely look into if we were to go again. Excursions. There's so much to do in Lapland and it's tempting to try and do everything. However, as you've seen, it's an expensive trip so we tried to prioritise and experience as much as we possibly could. The three main excursions tend to be snowmobiling, huskies and reindeer sleigh rides. We selected an excursion covering two of these and decided that a husky one probably wasn't for us. Fortunately, we were able to experience this in our taster session. Our instincts were right though, this was our least favourite. We're not big dog lovers and the kids found it a bit smelly. There's also a few limited excursions available to the snow village we visited and quite a lot of Northern Lights excursions, something we really considered and would love to do next time. Then there's loads of other things you can do such as ice fishing, snowshoe hikes and building snow igloos. We use the Levy Tourist website to book our excursions but we also regularly use Viator when we travel. What's the best age for children to visit Lapland? This was something we spent ages deliberating and then our best laid plans went out of the window. We had this holiday originally booked in 2019 but I broke my leg badly and wasn't allowed to fly. Then Covid stopped the 2020 trip so we finally went in 2021. In 2019 Eva and Finley would have been 6 and 4. We thought this was the perfect age as we've read lots about it being just too cold for very small children. But we still wanted them to be young enough to really feel the Christmas magic so we were worried we'd missed out on our chance. However, at 8 and 6 I would say now having done this trip that these ages were perfect. They were a bit older so they could enjoy the excursions a bit more. They probably didn't complain about the cold as much as they would have if they'd been younger too as they were able to layer up themselves as needed. The trip with children these ages was definitely the magical trip we'd hoped for. And finally, what to pack. This massively stressed us out beforehand as we hadn't travelled to somewhere so cold before and we just didn't know what to expect and how to prepare. From our research, the key things we found were firstly not to wear cotton next to your skin. When you sweat, it obviously produces moisture which the cotton absorbs and can then freeze. And secondly, pack and wear layers. As part of our package, we were provided with snow boots, thick socks and an all-in-one suit. Now we've been, we realise we can easily hire these ourselves from the company Lapland Safaris. Underneath we wore thermals as well as thick jogging bottoms and several fleecy tops or jumpers. We packed plenty so we could add or remove layers depending on the temperature as needed. Fortunately when we were there the temperature wasn't too bad but we had plenty of other layers if needed. We bought thin liner gloves to go underneath our main slow gloves to keep our hands warm. We also bought hot hands the hand warmers and took these out with us each day in case we needed warming up at all. We found that we actually only used them a few times if we were stood around or on the snowmobiles and we put them down our boots or in our gloves. For our heads and necks we bought all in one balaclavas and snuds to keep our heads and necks warm as well as a scarf and then we wore woolly hats on top. We did buy ski goggles which were useful at times but we did find they steamed up a lot so didn't wear them much. Overall we never really found the cold a problem and were comfortable throughout our trip and had a brilliant time. So that's everything we wanted to share with you about our wonderful trip to Lapland. We hope this was useful for your trip and if you've got any questions or other tips just let me know in the comments below. Like and subscribe if you'd like to see more of our trips. Thank you so much for watching.